Why didn't you do this for? All right, <laughs> we're back. Welcome to the Graveyard Ship Movie Podcast. Oh, this week. Oh, by the way, episode number forty-five. Almost forgot the episode. Number. Holy hey, shit! Yo, I was talking when you. He started. interrupted the fuck you, you out of you. You gotta do it again. This week. <laughs> 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 this week, it was Maverick's pick, and he yes, picked uh, the Devil Below from twenty twenty-one. Uh, which he told us it was a Tremors ripoff. Spoiler alert, it was nothing. It was no Tremors. No, no. it was not even um, close. So I don't know, yeah. Uh, anyway, Maverick, uh, buddy, old pal. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, uh, you gotta, you gotta stop looking up, like, brand new horror movies 2021 or whatever. Cause, you know, uh, I went off the trailer, dude. I went off the trailer. It looked like Tremors. And I was like, you know... Alright. Because <laughs> uh, this shit was was bad. Oh, really, 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 you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, listen, I was gonna... Okay, first off, it's gonna join a club that only one other movie is a member of right now. Uh, and it's unfair that that movie has to share the same space as this movie. And I would take it back if I could. I even mentioned... I was just editing. I still know what you did last summer. I mentioned this in that episode. Uh, the only other movie that ever got this was Bubba Hotep. And Bubba Hotep does not deserve this. <laughs> But this movie is getting a fat goose egg, a zero on the scoreboard. No. I thought about giving it a half point or a one for only like two reasons, but I'm not. I'm going straight, <laughs> just straight zero across the board. So, oh man, Maverick, <laughs> what are you? What are you scoring? Yeah, this one? I've got a, uh, I've got no loyalty to, to this movie. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a, a Tremors little yeah. shindig, but uh, it was no. let me down. Yeah. So I'll go with like a three. Three? Yeah. Yeah. Tyler? Uh, I believe this movie had no redeeming qualities whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I don't even know. Did this come out in theaters? Do we know? I don't think so. I doubt it. I, lo- I didn't see no budget or like box office. I didn't even see a Wikipedia for this movie. <laughs> Damn. It had, that, it had that cool guy from Armageddon, so I'll give it a one. But that's the only yeah. reason. Yeah. He's from Armageddon, isn't he? Will Patton? Yeah. I, I, I always know him as Remember the Titans guy. The coach from Remember the yeah, Titans. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, Which, he's good we last saw him all the way back when we did uh, Halloween 2018. He was the sheriff. He was the cop. In, yeah. that, in that podcast, so he's back. But, uh, well, back, he, he's, been, he's in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's in it. He has, like, what, four or five scenes, maybe? Yeah, something like that. Um, but, hey, spoiler warning. For the devil below. He, he wears a dumb hat the whole time. He does wear a dumb hat, yeah. So we're going to ruin everything about it. Um, first off, so I went into this, like we said, thinking it was a Tremors ripoff. Okay? So did I. And then the movie starts off with Will Patton walking out of a coal mine with his son. And uh, what does he tell him to go back and get? Like his hat his or some tools. shit? Okay, his tools. And, and the kid's like, oh, okay. And he's like walking, and then at, it has like an over the shoulder camera with Will Patton as he's walking away. And you see the sun just get yanked like into the darkness, right? And I was like, oh, well, that that's pretty cool, right? And so he's, and he's like, dad, dad, you know? And then Will Patton gets stuck with some spike looking thing, right? And then uh, his eyes start turning all like pure black and shit. And, uh, and he like passes out. And I was like, okay. You know, this movie, I was expecting Tremors. This doesn't look like Tremors, but the first, like, seven minutes or however long that was got me excited for the movie. I was like, all right, this might be something. And then, uh, you know, then we meet, like, the main character, and it's like this dramatic music's playing or whatever, and I was like, all right, here we go. And then my excitement slowly went downhill (laughs) over time. And uh, this movie might single-handedly be the movie that by the end of it, I was completely checked out. Where I was like, I don't even know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. I looked up at one point, and they had the uh, the one archaeologist dude, the black dude with the British accent, like there, and he was getting sucked into like a sack with teeth. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know how we got here. <laughs> I, was like, I am lost. <laughs> so going uh, going back to that first scene you yeah, were talking about. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I fucking laughed because. Uh, the sun would get pulled into like the shadows, 
and then crawl back and then get pulled back. Yeah. It happened like four times. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Die already, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, this is just, just too many. Yeah. Just too many. Which, uh, yeah. Uh, so, the pr- the also, part, okay, go ahead. The, the part that made me realize this movie was shit. Uh huh. Was because uh, I was giving it all my respect, you know, trying yeah. to go into it empty minded. And there's a part where they get to this electric fence and they look through and they can see the box and it has two jumper cables on it. Yeah. Yeah, the little battery. But then the lady like climbs over it using like the worst climbing thing I've ever seen with like a grappling hook when it was just a tree. <laughs> but uh-huh. um, yeah. Then she jumps over and she's like, come on, guys. And they all climb over. And I'm like, why didn't she just take the things off? I, like, I, uh, I was yelling. Just run through it with your fucking Jeep. <laughs> you can literally poke the box with yeah. a stick and get it to turn off. But I was like, all right. I go. didn't understand why, like, you know, these guys are, like, explorers. And, like, they've been doing, you know, all these expeditions or whatever. And then you have the one guy in the back of the Jeep who's just complaining the whole time. He's like, yeah, you know where we're going. Well, what are we going to do when we get there? And I was like, shut the fuck up. Have you not been, you know? And then they get to this fence, and it's like, how are we going to get over this fence? And it's like, have you never met a fence before? Like, (laughs) and I was so mad. That chase scene. With the car? One dirt fucking road. Where he's like, slow down. Slow slow down. down. Are you trying to kill us? And I'm like, oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) I hate it. It made Thomas feel this way, but the guy did not sound that nerdy. He like, did not sound this nerdy. No. <laughs> but, they, if anything, they tried to make him like the uh, the cool guy of the group. Kind the voice of. of reason. The voice of pussy. That's what he was. <laughs> There's a point to where like the black guy goes like super religious. He yeah, does. they have like a and whole argument. Yeah, they were talking about like a, and has the pit nothing of hell. to do with the movie. No, not nothing at all. Well, because so the premise basically. Is that the Russians, I don't know what year they said it was, it doesn't really matter. The Russians dug down straight into the earth for eight miles. They, they bored a hole as far yeah, as they could go. Yeah. And yeah, the drill broke off eight miles and they planned on going more. And then they put a microphone all the way down the hole and then they get back this recording. And the recording's like, rah, 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 you know, and all this shit. And so the dude's like, oh, supposedly this is the screams of the damned. Right. And I was like, to me, it just sounded like dinosaurs. And at this point, I'm still thinking. Dinosaurs. Well, he still thinks it's a movie at that point. And this. <laughs> at this point i'm still thinking it's like a tremors movie so i'm like yeah. oh they all know that it's gonna be like a tremor you know jokes on them yeah and uh and so then this coal mine that set up what was the town like tennessee or some shit yeah <laughs> who knows uh, yeah. yeah this coal mine apparently was set up i think it's called like sugar hills or some shit. okay but it wasn't really a coal mine it was like a cover-up by the government or some shit where they they were doing the same shit where they like oh, no. dug down. I think it was a coal mine. It was yeah. a coal mine. Yeah, I could have sworn he was like, "It's not really a coal mine." That was the like conspiracy. Oh, part. okay. Yeah, but uh, in the end, the guy was like, "A rival mining company hired me," or whatever. Yeah. So, so the weird thing is, it seems like the the black dude is like coming there more for the hole. And, like, to listen to, based off of this recording. And then the other guy, the main dude, is there for, like, some type of material that burns longer than any other, you know. Yeah, they, they hired him to go find this, like, high-quality yeah. coal. Um, but he was saying he was there because, like, fucking Oxford or Cambridge or whatever. Yeah. Um, he was, like, a professor there, which wasn't true because he got kicked out. Um, yeah. And, uh, by the way, I'm going to be honest. There was a reason why I was explaining what the movie was. I've completely forgot what it was. It was going to lead into my reasoning for whatever this was. But I'm just going to keep going. So, But uh, yeah, also that dude, the main dude, I guess I was kind of right, but not really. There was something about him where I it was as they're climbing up that tree to go over the fence that I wrote down my notes that I'm, I'm like, I'm calling it now. That guy's going to be evil. 
I thought they were going to get there and he'd be like, haha. Like he had some type of weird devil plan. Oh, so then, yeah. So that's why the argument gets brought up where the dude plays the recordings like it's the, you know, the souls of the damned or whatever. And then somehow they start like arguing how the black dude's like, no, you know, God, you know, is a real being and he created all this. And the other yeah. dude's like, no, it was a mashup of all these, you know. And they're arguing. Like plates and stuff. Yeah, and the dude's like, Jesus. And the black dude's like, exactly. He's a real guy, too, and stuff. And, like, there's, like, a two, three-minute long just argument about religion or science or... And then you got the two other dipshits in the background, like, Mom and Dad are fighting, fighting again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the whole time, the lead lady in this movie, who I can't remember her name, she's, like, the lead lady, but she just sort of sits there and watches everything happen for a yeah, lot of this just, movie. They, Which, to be fair, she didn't want to be there. A, yeah. Yeah, they hired her to be the tour guide. She's never been there before. She just found it on a map. Or what was supposed to be on the map. Yeah. Um, if you watch the movie, you understand what I'm saying. But it, uh... Yeah. I don't, she's She never tells them that they've never been... Like, she's never been there before. Yeah. Um. By the way, super foreign. So it's not like she grew up in Virginia or whatever. Yeah, do they yeah. ever say where they met her? I think he, that one guy even asked the main dude, where did you meet this girl before? He's like a friend of a colleague or something. Yeah. Oh, just one of them things, like, ah, I knew a guy who knew a guy. Yeah, pretty much. He mentioned, or he said, um... Uh, excuse me. His friend did an expedition in, like, Syria or some shit. Uh-huh. And recommended her to him. And I was like, but she's never been to where you're going. She just was like... <laughs> Oh, there used to be a city on this map. Now there's not. Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> it was like a shot in the dark, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, she, she had a really weird backstory about how her dad was like a bounty hunter, but then he went to the evil or something. Yeah, he. What was it? He lost his way or some lost shit. Yeah, says, and I was know. like, what? Once what again, is this movie. At that point, I remember she. Th she starts off where the guy takes her knife at one point to like cut some rope, and she's like, oh, "Don't God. use my knife." That's my knife. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. And dude. she's like, oh, or he's like, oh, sorry about that. She's like, I just don't like people touching. It. He's like, I feel whoa. the same way about my PlayStation. I was PlayStation. And she was like, know. no, you don't. And I was like, lady, don't you say he doesn't feel that way about his PlayStation. Uh, but so instantly you're like, okay, this lady has some type of backstory. This knife's going to be something too. Yeah. And once again, like I said, at that point, I remember when she started explaining who her dad was, I was so far gone. That I caught the very end where she's like, he lost his way. I didn't know. I didn't hear the part about Bounty Hunter or no. I was just, yeah, <laughs> just the fuck out. watching it. And uh, yeah, she said something about how her dad taught her to look for people who didn't want to be found or something. Yeah. Something like that. Something. Yeah. I was like, what? Uh, this lady's a genie. So. Did this movie at all at points remind you of that? Uh, it might be just because below is in the title, but that as above, yeah. so below movie yeah, we watched. So uh, when they fell, when the guy falls in the hole, oh sorry, and they go down there and they're looking around. I was like, these caves are just like that, uh, and then uh, they were only down there for about three three seconds. Or whatever. Yeah, you don't get a whole lot of cave shots in I this movie or scenes. Yeah, and when you do, it's like there's just ominous red lighting everywhere, so you can't really see, like, into the yeah. caves. Um, and, like, I won't, we'll talk about it more, but later when they get to, like, the heart of it, there's, like, monsters everywhere, and there looks like there's one big slug-looking monster. Yeah. But you can't well, they, really see it that good, because the picture's all distorted and stuff. And I think that was on purpose. That you could yeah. Do you ever get a good picture of the monster? Every Not now and really. then, and I wish you didn't, because they didn't look very good. <laughs> so, they kind of looked like, besides the teeth, they almost moved at the end, like the monster from Amnesia. They kind of looked yeah. like that a little bit. It but reminded like, me, if you ever seen the Halloween mask of the uh, evil scary baby? Hmm. That has, like, the big head, and it's like... Oh, like, yeah, I know what you're of. talking about. That's what they reminded me of. It yeah. might be a, I don't think it's a Slipknot mask. That, that uh... That, that thing, Dan with Tosh on Tosh.0 forever would have a segment called That's One Big Ass Baby. And it would just be him in a diaper with that mask. <laughs> like getting pulled over or some shit. And, uh, they, uh, they explained the big slug thing. Um, yeah. Well, I'm glad so, y'all caught it. <laughs> Explain. 
the the black guy gets taken in the woods. Um, Real early. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think he's the second one because dude he's falls down one. the little well thing. Well, he doesn't fall. He gets like pull, it almost looked like like a. He got was, pulled in. Is it a know. smoker from Left 4 Dead that would wrap its tongue yeah. around you and pull you in? Well, I mean, it was a, a rope. A rope. Yeah, yeah, but I like to believe it was a long ass tongue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, whatever makes this movie better for you, right? Yeah. Like, who yeah. They um, so dude gets taken in the woods. Like thirty minutes later, the um, I don't know the dude's accent. The, I'm just gonna say the British dude. Yeah. And um, the female get taken, and uh, they go to like. The underground coal mine or whatever um and they uh when you get stung by the the poison monsters, the yeah. Poison's yeah. Bike. it uh it like stuns you or knocks you out or whatever you can't move you're paralyzed um and they end up getting thrown into like a pit with the the other people that are captured and the black guy's there and he's explaining to them like they're extraterrestrial or some shit oh and they reproduce like ants or termites where they have like one like queen quote unquote queen uh -huh. and that big slug thing was the queen so they uh. they feed the monsters feed it and it makes more of them mm. i was like oh that's pretty cool it's, and they live underground and shit it's interterrestrial Inter they, okay because they, they come from the earth not from the space wasn't that wasn't color out of space Tommy Tommy Chong was like, they're in the earth, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was different because I came it as was, a meteor. Yeah. And but, then just chilled on the earth. But um, yeah. But you know, also the uh, so that guy gets like roped down into the hole or whatever. So they're like, we gotta go for him. So the lady and like the other dude go down there who was the guy that went with her was that or who was the guy that got taken originally was that the guy complaining the whole time or was that yeah okay and so then his buddy and her go down there so the british dude and the black dude are left up top and so they're hanging out up there and next thing you know this dude with a shotgun shows up and he's like what the fuck are y'all doing here and they're like whoa man you gotta help us there's people down there and he's like how long has this been open and they're like oh there's people and so he's like, ah, and he starts, like, cutting the rope. He's like, we got to cut this off, right? Oh, you should probably explain. Um, they ripped, like, this grate off. It, like, they covered um, the hole, the entrance, in, um, like, a fencing and then electrified it. So the monsters yeah. couldn't get out. But these fucks came along, unhooked it, and then opened it up. And then that's why they were trying to go down in the hole. But Yeah. Uh, all right, continue. Um And so he starts cutting the rope. And the British dude makes, like, a move to him. And he's like, ah, step back fucking whatever he called them and uh and i'm like man these guys are just gonna let them fucking cut you know and finally the black dude picks up a rock and fucking smashes the dude in the back of the head right but he waits till the rope's already cut like yeah and there was so, two ropes he cut one of them is that what, on the so second one. the rope gets cut right and so i'm like oh shit well now the lady and that guy are stuck down there and i was like okay this is gonna make for you know an interesting you know they're stuck down there these guys are trying to help him you know from up top or whatever and the next thing i know i hear what is going on and she like the lady's like back up top or whatever and i was like where <laughs> how did you get up here <laughs> but if they were fast two rope, they rope. were fast yeah but they weren't climbing it like how i thought they were just like muscling it nah they had like these two little hook things and like a, a little foot step thing you uh -huh. see it more in the the very end of the movie where they're climbing up the rope yeah but, um it made it look easy. I'm sure it's not, but at least the dude actually brought a gun with him. I was like, hell yeah. 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 At one point, like I forget the first time he pulls it out, but he pulls it out and the camera focuses on it. I'm like, yeah. this motherfucker pulled out a gun. <laughs> Holy shit. Because a lot of these movies, they just go with like with nothing. And yeah. You're like, why wouldn't yeah, the they lady bring had a knife dick or something? Yeah. Yeah. This one, they get in that hole. That dude's just that dude just corners. yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, he, He's not Whips it out. out. Yeah, it does absolutely nothing to help him. No, I don't think he shot it one time, did he? I don't remember anyone shooting a gun other than the hillbillies at the end. I remember, I remember people trying to throw grenades. Oh man, with, that uh, was uh, so if I ever saw it. So okay, so later. B by the way, uh, Bill Patton. Uh, he, he's Bill still. Patton. What's his name? I forgot. Will Will, Will Patton. Okay, I was thinking Bill Paxton on accent. Yeah, uh, but Will Patton. Um, he's still alive, and he shows back up in the movie, 
And he's like, where the fuck are them kids? We got to you know, and he's looking rough. He's got this dumb hat on that we talked about. His face is all dirty, right? And we're like, what the fuck's going on? Turns out. Say, there's a four minute scene of him just lighting a cigarette. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, why is this in here? Uh, Turns out the homie and like the whole town know about this shit. And they know that there's like monsters down there. So they're like, we got to keep it protected. They have a whole alarm set up. So, you know, shit starts going down, you know. Uh, Check-ins and safe houses over walkie-talkies and shit. Let me ask a question real fast. So they were coming through the woods when they very first got there. Uh And she found a huge stack of like sound insulation panels. Yeah. Yeah. What were those for? No idea. Never explained. And they're super expensive. Those things are like $20 each. Well, don't you at one point see that the things don't like sound? Because the guy like plays a loud no, noise from attracted his phone. The sound. Is that what yeah, it is? Okay, that's how they attract. Yeah. Well, maybe so they were just gonna lead them away from something. Maybe they did their houses or something. I don't know. She just comes across like a huge stack of them in the woods. Yeah. You know, nowhere near a house, and she's like, I don't "Sound know. insulation panels." But uh, yeah. So they meet up with these people, and then they're like armed to the teeth. They got guns and all this shit, and then they right. like whip out grenades at one point. So then people have grenades, and we're like, okay. And then we're back down in the tunnels. I'm skipping some stuff. We'll come back. But they're back down in the tunnels. And I think he throws one that blows up off in the distance. And then they're, like, running down. And there's uh, the hallway. And there's, like, one cell bar looking thing. And then, like, another hallway going right. And so they had gone right. And the one dude was left in the hallway. And he sees the monsters coming. He's like, oh, shit. So he unclips it, goes to throw it. And the monster, like, hits him in the arm or whatever. So it drops his feet, right? And I was like, oh, shit, well, that's not good, you know? Uh, keep in mind, he's right next to the cell bar, okay? His friend, the British dude, gets on the bar. Johnny! Johnny! <laughs> like, on the bar. And the thing blows up, okay? So then the guy's laying there, and he's all... Eh. He's blood. got shrapnel in his yeah. neck, blood spurting And somehow out. his friend is completely fine. I guess the metal bars must have really helped him out. And then the monster comes and, like, grabs him, pulls him off. And, uh... Yeah. But it was a pretty shitty grenade throw. It looked like me trying to throw a grenade in Rainbow Six back in the day. <laughs> Not barbed wire. Not barbed wire. Not barbed wire. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. bad throw. Also, there was a guy that went out with a Molotov that was the biggest Molotov explosion I've ever fucking seen in my life. That they didn't made me so mad. Yeah. Tell Ma I didn't mess up my good coat. My good coat. I'm it's like, like yeah, you fuck? did. You burn it. <laughs> He's like, listen, I'll take this. I'm going to distract him. Y'all run for the house. Uh-huh. And they're like, no, don't. I got this. And then he runs, and then they sit there, and they watch him for like three minutes. Yeah. They do. And it's like, aren't y'all supposed to be? And then he's like, ah! the explosion and then they're like okay let's go and I'm like yeah. why would you run that death reminded me of uh, spoiler for 28 weeks later it reminded me of when the uh, fucking Hawkeye is like keep going west or whatever and he gets out and it's like you could have hop you had the gun you could have just pop pop, <laughs> like, pop, pop. yeah and got back <laughs> in but okay but Hawkeye's death was much cooler though and then that guy, that random dude, that you don't even get to see the Molotov explosion. You just get the the fire coming. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I'll say now. By the way, the reason I said I might give this a half thing is I liked a lot of the shots of just like the landscape and shit. And there's a shot at the end of the movie where one of the monsters that's coming up out of one of the holes is getting fucking torched. And it's like in slow mo and shit, and that was a really cool shot. And I like some of the music. I thought the music was good. And what I, about the ten minute scene of them going through the very small cave openings, and no, it just led to nothing? That didn't. That didn't equate into my. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't. No, but uh, those were the only reasons that uh, I thought. Did y'all it. y'all notice like the one liners? People would like, oh, come with us. But then they're like, no, I'll stay behind. And then they look at the camera and say some shit one-liner. It happened like five times, no, but I, didn't. I didn't write them down. I you had some lines where like they were trying to act cool, and I was like, nah, yeah. <laughs> stop. The only guy I can remember looking at the camera was that one hillbilly that put his ear next to the fucking grate. So, he was like, what? Uh, and super bad CGI blood like comes out of his head. So they uh, they know what's in these holes. At one point, you even see 
like a picture that looks like it's drawn by a six year old. Yeah. So if you're like this redneck dude, why would you ever put your head up to that fucking? I don't know. With it had a hole in it too. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. Why? And he has a flashlight. He can see in the hole. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like, mm, let me see. He just want to see his. This whole movie man. is so bad. Like the acting even... between the guys was horrible. That, there like, was some parts where I was like, the acting needed some shine. Like, just a little <laughs> bit. Of... Some shine. Uh, I think the there was some, like I said, they had some um, fucking dialogue in there that was kind of yeah. e. They They throw in a part in this movie that was purely there is like, that's when you're going to get your big scare. But it's so set up that you know, like, it's coming. Where it's when they're leaving the holes, and it's like night vision. And it's like a found footage movie now. Yeah. And you get, like, the night vision look, and the guy's like, I hear something. And he's like, look at it, and there's, like, a monster thing standing there. It's like, rah! And it's like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I was anticipating. That night vision scene was so much longer than I thought it would be. It went on forever. And then it was only one scare, and it was at, like, almost the very end. Um, and I was like, well, I was, I was waiting for it, waiting yeah. for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. And then it came and I was like, you could have done better than that. Come on. Yeah. Like uh, something, but it was just the same old scare you've always seen. Like you got to change it up. So, and then they get a random truck and they're like, let us in. And guys like, all right. Well then they're like, they get in and they're like, all right, let's go. And then they sit there for like 10 seconds, not moving. And finally they do. Yeah. It's like the guy <laughs> couldn't get it in gear. They stole the redneck truck earlier, and they're driving. They're like, "Watch out!" And all of a sudden, the whole car just starts smoking. Yeah, yeah. That I was scene. Like, what happened? I was looking at the hole, like their front left tire was in, and I was like, "If you were going like five miles an hour, you would have just right fucking over. yeah, right over." And I'm like, oh, "Gee!" And then they like popped a smoke grenade or fog machine and put oh. it underneath the car, and I'm like, "What? That doesn't make any sense." I remember the uh, night vision scene, and I was like, I've seen some pretty bad found footage movies, especially uh-huh. on, you know, for the podcast. No, no. All I was like, but, but found footage with night vision, probably the worst fucking combination ever. Yeah. It wasn't even, like, true night vision. It was all like a fucking model. Yeah. Only, yeah. I remember I watched one a long time ago that was these guys camping out by like area 51 or something and it was basically what all found footage movies kind of turn into or for a while did nowadays they're kind of they get better but where it was just a blair witch where they're like going around they're like we're back in the same spot and it's like oh boy but that one is like all night vision like that green and black night vision or whatever so by the way, I was very disappointed to see later, uh, after I finished this movie, that the same guys who made this movie are the guys who made uh, The Chernobyl Diaries, which is a movie that me and Bags have sung the praises of for uh, years, which I think is still a good movie. But this movie was shit. What happened from The Chernobyl Diaries days, guys? <laughs> so, shout out That's to my favorite Bagley. episode of Destination Truth is uh, when they go to Chernobyl. That's a good one. It's pretty good. Yeah. That's it Chernobyl has nothing to do with this movie. No. <laughs> you know, but it's pretty good. Chernobyl's yeah. just a weird place, man. We um, need a good Chernobyl, like, horror movie. Hey, Chernobyl Diaries. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, it's like, you know, they go to Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has a good, it has a crazy ending, too, that me and Bags always like. Boilers. Yeah. Um, but anyway... Uh, we'll talk the the end of the movie. The fucking the main girl and the main guy are like getting away, and they're climbing up the rope and shit. And uh, already the guy's like struggling to get up the rope because he's all tired or whatever. And then he gets stuck with one of the things. The one of the things the that jumps up and yeah. And so he still has a little bit of time to go. But uh, what does he even say? He's like, "What do you do in times like these?" You or some shit. She, she did that earlier to save herself. Uh, yeah, you like, get this weird backstory. Yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah, you get a weird backstory, or uh, she's telling the other dude a story about her being like she's climbing mountains with some dude. Uh-huh. Um, he gets hurt and he can't climb anymore, and they're on the same rope. Yeah, she's above him, and she can't pull him up. If they stay there, they're both gonna freeze to death. So she just cuts the rope and lets him 
I, like oh. fall to death, fall to his death, so she could get away. I missed all right. <laughs> yeah, and I'm guessing that's the same knife that she cut the rope with. Maybe. Uh, so then that ties back into the ending where they're climbing. What the out fuck of the hole. was this lady's life? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. They're climbing out of the hole at the end of the movie. She's above the dude. Um, she gives, she hands him the knife um, to. To defend himself the, with. To yeah. defend he drops himself. it all of uh, six inches, and then it's yeah. like... Ugh. I think that's supposed to be, like, a big moment, too. Because she didn't want anyone touching her knife. Now she's like, here, take my knife. Yeah, monsters are climbing up the rope behind yeah. them. Uh, so the dude's like, hey, you know what? This is the end. And he's like, what do you do in a time like this? And he fucking cuts the rope. Cuts the rope. You know what you do? You cut the rope underneath you. That's it's what I was saying. I was like, like cut the fucking fucking rope underneath yeah. you. What are you doing? Yeah. As he's falling, he's like, "Shit!" <laughs> Did it wrong. Thought of that. Well, then you look, and there's like six of them climbing the walls, and it's like, "Oh, never mind." Yeah, they didn't need the rope after all. And uh, he falls down and gets swarmed over by these monsters, <laughs> whatever they are. So yeah. this movie makes you think that they're abducting people to feed to their queen to make more people. Well, they kill the queen, yeah. and then all this is taking place after that. So. I don't understand why these things are attacking if there's no queen. They didn't... So they they stick a um, grenade in the queen's mouth, and she eats it, and it blows up inside of her, mm-hmm. and then she falls down. I mean, is she really dead, though? Because she was fucking big. And I'm like, I don't know if a grenade would kill her like that. I don't know. I don't know it made her fall down and go... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you get a, a satisfying thud when she hits the ground. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And then um, the lady is then a, is trying to climb up through the hole. And who is it originally that's laying there? And he's like, I can't Some help dude. you. The bootleg version of the guy from Sons of Anarchy. The well, same guy that, and I know what you did last summer, or I still know what you uh-huh, did. I sold yeah. him the gun. Yeah. I don't know the guy's name, but. I just it, like. Um, it's like the cheap version of that dude. Was it the, was it any, but everyone from her group was dead. So it was just a yeah, dude that just like. Her. I thought it was that dude who was complaining the whole time, and I was like, "Oh no!" But then, so Will Patton comes over, and he's like, "Get out of the way!" It was so and stupid because you have this thing. She's like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry," and then he's like, "Get out of here! Come on!" Yeah. And then you get up top, and there's like seventy people there. Did you? Like, yeah. What? <laughs> Did you think there was gonna be a moment where he was like gonna get her, and then like long yeah. live the yeah. king, and like knock her off? I totally thought she, she was gonna die. I don't know why he would say long live the king. I don't know, but just because he (laughs) likes movie references. (laughs) You get the ending scene where he's driving her out of town in his truck, just those, him and the chick. Yeah. And then he asks, he's like, you're a survivor, you should stay and help. And she says no, and I'm like, she gets out, and I felt like he was going to shoot her. Just shoot her dead. (laughs) Yeah. Well, because the whole thing is they have to keep it a secret. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, he's about to just plow her with his truck or whatever. And then it was like the worst end of a movie i've yeah, ever seen he, well he she gets back luck. in too yeah. yeah she she leaves he stays there for a minute and then she comes back with a rope she found on the ground or something uh, yeah. we're gonna need this and i'm like what she well, yeah she's like mm-hmm. she's like ah oh, do you really think you could win this all by yourself or some shit but anyway it was pretty bad i was like okay I guess she's yeah. here now. <laughs> it was like yeah. a five minute conversation to where she was like we need to tell people he was like no and she was like, why? And he's like, we can contain this. She's like, you can't. You really think you can win this? And he was like, yes. And she was like, you can't. And yeah. then she gets out. And then that riveting conversation, she's like, I think we can we do can this. We can do this. <laughs> it's like, no. I was like, at no point did he give you any, like, you literally watched half his team die. Yeah. From one little hole. But yeah, yeah he, it's he, like, it's like when these things eventually just take over the planet, it's like, I hope that Will Patton's there. And she's like, I told you. <laughs> All you had to do was get the government some shit. You just you just need one person to Allah Akbar go yeah. in there with like a fucking explosive vest, get eaten and blow themselves up and you're good. Well they had vents everywhere. They so. did have a lot of vents. And if they killed the one queen, then they're probably just gonna die out, but Yeah. They they let this movie open for a sequel. Yeah, which uh not coming. We are not Please gonna watch don't. it. It's yeah. not gonna happen. So. I was, I was like, oof. It was a, yeah, it was a, it was a hard one to get through. I was watching that anime cooking show the whole time. What I happened like, to My Hero? 
I already finished it. Oh, you, you're caught up? All the way. I'm caught up with everything now. Damn. You watched the movie? No, not yet. I'm going to watch the Demon Slayer movie first. But anyways, we're getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't even... Have anything else we want to talk about on no. this one? <laughs> I don't have a good part. In oh, that. yeah. No. Best of, worst of? I don't got no, no best of. Nothing. Um, I'm trying to think. Actually, be- uh, I think the best scene in here oh, was well. when they're, they're, um, they get to the actual like Sugar Hills or whatever, this the city. Uh-huh. They go into the abandoned house, and then she opens up like this back door, and it, you get this scene of like the, the whole coal mine. Yeah. And it's like zooming out, and it's is massive yeah. i was like yo that's dope uh, yeah that's it i take it, it back my out. best of would be that shot of the thing getting burned up at the end that was a cool shot my uh, worst of i'll say it was that guy throwing the grenade and somehow it not killing that other dude standing next to him so i'm gonna do a call back here okay and this is gonna be my best of green worst house of this whole movie. <laughs> yeah when she goes into the thing when they very first get there there's a because this is the worst part. She drives into that store parking lot, goes all the way in the thing, does a complete U-turn, comes all the way back to the store, and then parks in front of it. Uh-huh. And I'm like, why didn't you just, you know. Listen. And uh, <laughs> that bugged the shit out of me. Yeah. But then she goes in, and she asks for directions, and the guy's like, you get back on the interstate, and you just keep going. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I remember fucking the Sasquatch movie, yeah. where he's like, what you want to do is you want to take a left. And then go fuck yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was, I was funny. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, I brought back. I need to rewatch that movie now. Yeah, no, it was something. What was it? No, was well, it was like have a slice of go fuck yourself pie or something. There was something to do with pie. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. That was hey, the best um, part of that movie. <laughs> one thing, one thing I did notice though was uh, that scene where they they're walking into the abandoned town, and it was right before the scene where you get like the full shot of the. Uh, mine sh- mine or whatever um they're walking into the house and you can see um a fog light yeah uh outside had a led bulb and they're like this has been fucking abandoned since For like 19 years, yeah. <laughs> no they said like 19 like 60 or 1970s yeah i'm like they have an led bulb in the fucking thing and i'm like no <laughs> way that's from the fucking 70s but okay yeah well one of the redneck dudes could have put that there yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I'm like, why? Mm. It's I not, it wasn't it. a safe house. They tried to make this movie like religious, right? Like hell, heaven and hell and stuff. So like when she goes in that store, they have like the petrified turtle and like the fish in a jar and all this like weird like I don't want to say voodoo stuff, but like creepy shit, you know? And it's yeah. like, yeah, these are like ground aliens, you know? It has nothing <laughs> to do with any of this stuff, but all right, yeah, like it. Dad decided, I guess, to start hammering shit. Oh, he's putting up a new hat rack. Oh, it's hat rack. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Yeah. This movie was shit. It It was was bad. bad. Yeah. I went off the trailer. Disappointed. Yeah, like. What do you think the worst movie we've all picked is? Uh, This is probably Myra's worst. Your Uh, worst. Dark tapes? Mm, Dark tapes. Dark tapes might be your worst, mm. and then my worst. I don't know. I know there's one that's bad. I mean, we'll disagree on. It would all depend on what y'all say, because I probably mm. would disagree with whatever. There's a lot like that. I don't know. I get bored if it's not really oh, good. Oh, my worst. This will upset horror fans, but my worst was probably Hellraiser. I hated that fucking movie. <laughs> anyway. Um, but hey, there's always next week. <laughs> Who's pick? My pick. Oh, um, oh, damn. By the way, before I before we start wrapping this up, and I pick my, I was at first. Hey, did you look at box office or anything for this movie? Yeah, it doesn't have one. one. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. I was at first Afraid excited. You were oh. Yeah. I was at first excited that it wasn't like a Tremors thing, thinking yeah. like we were going to get. And then at the end of it, I was like, well, I wish it was just a like a Tremors, like, you know, just a goofy. Really hoping, like a good creature jump scare. Movie. Yeah, like, and so I, I went through emotions in this movie. 
Yeah, this movie, in, uh, they had like one jump scare that wasn't good, and that was it. Yeah. It's the nothing. only emotion I went through with, during this movie was Samsung. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, just, it was so bad. Yeah. So, anyway. Next week, it's my pick. And I'm picking a movie that I've only watched once. And when I watched it the first time, uh, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. But it stuck with me since then. And it has one of my favorite endings in uh, horror movies. So, we're going to 1986. Starring the one and only Mary Poppins himself, Mike Rooker. Uh, we're watching Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. So Never heard of it. It's uh, it's something. Bags watch it too. And we would talk about it every now and then. Hmm. So, anyway, look forward to that movie. It's got a... You remember the cop in the House of a Thousand Corpses that got shot in the neck by that yeah. lady? Yeah, he's in it too. Ooh, so nice. shot. But he's real young in this movie because obviously ah. it's fucking 25 years before it came out or whatever, so... Look forward to Henry, portrait of a serial right. killer. <laughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> guys, it's been nice. <laughs> Probably, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen the movie, so yeah, I've seen people talk about it or whatever. Yeah, it's coming. It's starting to be one of them cult classics, and you know, you should you. That's one of them. Oh god, okay. those are always bad. I have a love hate relationship with cult classics. Sometimes I'm like, okay, this is pretty good. Then other times I'm like, man, this is shit. <laughs> Why are people, you know? Didn't you? Uh... Never mind. I just remember you listening to the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack, and I'm like, listen, mm. motherfucker, that movie. <laughs> I've I've thought about picking it one week and being like, it's horror, it's no, Halloween. Was... <laughs> that would be the one you miss. You wouldn't be here for that one. Anyway, shout out to Rocky Horror Picture Show. I wouldn't say I'd miss it, but it's a good movie. It's not horror or nothing. No, but I want to watch it again, so that's why I was. So anyway, um, yeah, so portrait of serial killer. Yeah, Henry portrait based on a true story. Keep that in mind. It's a real person. Shout out to him. Even though the real guy, if you look him up, he's one of the guys who he has like five confirmed kills or something. But then he's like, no, nah, I got like 70 other bodies buried everywhere, you know? So Jesus. it's like, also, he's an ugly fuck. I remember looking him up. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. How, how dare you? Hey, Henry, if you're listening, <laughs> I didn't mean it. Comment down below. Comment down below. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Maverick? Yo. Have anything you want to add before we wrap this yeah. one up? Yeah. Oh man, stretch. Um, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Maybe have a family member that you want to tell us about in the oh, movie. Oh yeah, tell your family. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, tell oh. us what you think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. All right, we're about to clock out with our uh, cock out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is off the rails. <laughs> Are you going to end it the same way you? you <laughs> yeah. Funny. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next closet. week. Henry Portion of a serial killer. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, next week, guys. <laughs> I wish I had a door. Just yeah. to Why? I don't know. I don't know which shirt I want to wear now. Let's go, uh. I'm gonna change. You missed. Mav just popped in, gave you the finger, and then popped out. <laughs> oh, man, this is hot. Yeah, right. See a little show. <laughs> I think you start the podcast like that and just pop out. Yeah. Not naked though, but. Sorry, I was making coffee. Just fucking. Just fucking. All right, everybody. We'll yeah. Be <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom's finally out of the closet, baby. Hey.